It is now 6.02. The city says it's done what it can, and now it could be eviction day for dozens of homeless people set up in Tent City. Yeah, there could be one thing, though, that would put a stop to getting those people removed today. News 13's Catherine Zone is taking a look at an emergency petition filed to keep them there. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Crystal. Adam, now a judge is expected to make a ruling today on that emergency petition filed yesterday by an Albuquerque attorney. Now, since last week, the city has been out there letting people know what resources are available to them and offering those services to get people into shelter, inpatient treatment, or detox centers. Albuquerque police have also been out there after reports of crime. They have made some arrests for things like drugs and prostitution. Attorney Joseph Coffey filed the emergency petition. He says the city shouldn't tear down Tent City on, on First and Iron without a hearing. These people are like between a rock and a hard place, literally, between the fence and the curb here. And yet, uh, for some reason, the city has to get them out of here. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Now, as of yesterday, the city hadn't seen the petition. We wanted to be live from Tent City this morning, but after speaking with police, we decided it wasn't too safe. Back to you, Adam. All right, thanks for the information, Catherine. Now, the city's goal is to landscape the area and eventually create what's known as an innovation trail where people can walk from the rail yards to downtown.